Well, hello and welcome. This is your host for the Voices of Courage show, Ken D. Foster. Hope you're having a brilliant day today. And if you're not, maybe this show is going to help uplift your life, uplift your thinking, and you'll be able to start your day right over feeling really good. Today, I have a subject that is near and dear to my heart. We're going to call this show The Courage to Overcome Cancer. And I personally just lost a very close friend to cancer this year who I'd known for 30 years. And um, there's reason for for that, right? There's reasons. And, you know, there's reasons that we can heal our, our, our challenges, whether it be cancer or any other health challenge. So today we're going to dedicate this show to giving you some insight into maybe what you need to do to overcome your fears around cancer, step into your courage, step out of the box if you've been uh, having a, a health challenge for, for a while, chronic health illnesses, right? And step into a new way of thinking about this, okay? You know, I love allopathic medicine. It's, it's great. I mean, if I need my arm, you know, if I have a broken arm and I've had broken arms and messed up legs, I go see a MD and I do an MRI and I get what's what's wrong with me, right? When I need to test done on my body, right? I need to know what my health numbers are. And I'm going to an a, a uh, allopathic doctor, an MD, right? But there's a certain limitation uh, with our with our medicine today in Western medicine. And so what I know is that when you can combine Eastern and Western understanding and Eastern and Western medicine, whether it's combining it with a uh, an asana through yoga, whether it's combining with a holistic program or a natural path, you know, when you start to combine those things, it gets much more powerful for you. So if you, even if you have a diagnosis that this is it, fourth the fourth stage fourth stage cancer, you're not going to be able to heal this. You're done. Go home. There's hope for you too. So stay tuned to this show. I'm going to be interviewing one of my favorite people on the planet today who actually had stage four cancer and healed it, right? I think it was stage four. Well, it was definitely, he was going down the tubes because he had also a heart attack uh, at the same time. So we will be right back. And when I do, I'm going to introduce my my guest for today. Do you listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations? Then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $299 a pair. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $299. Plus, we'll add in a portable charging dock and ship your order absolutely free. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in-the-ear canal design. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45-day risk-free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime U.S.-based support for only $299. So call now. 800-789-7885. Again, that's 800-789-7885. Imagine, this is your money, and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. Guess what? They want your money, and they can take it. All of it if they want. Remember, they sent you that letter right over here that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash, and we're going to take it from you right now. So what do you do? You fight back by letting our team of experts work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And hey, we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws, and we'll fight really hard to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you wanna keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. Five minutes of your time right now can save you thousands of dollars. And the best part, it's a free call. So please call right now. Are you ready to uplift your thinking, redefine what's possible, 
and have the energy, passion, and power to accomplish your greatest dreams. Hi, this is Ken D. Foster. For 28 years, I've coached over 10,000 people to see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and do the impossible. Now, I've put the time-tested wisdom principles into my latest book, The Courage to Change Everything, Daily Strategies and Essential Wisdom to Awaken Your Inner Genius. This book changes your thinking as you read it. It's time to change it deep inside. You know this. So come on, expand what's possible, increase your courage, step into your destiny, and order today at CourageToChange.us. That's CourageToChange.us. When you order today, you'll receive a personalized coaching session with me. Obviously, this is a limited offer. So why wait? Change for the better and order now at CourageToChange.us. Are you feeling stuck or in a holding pattern with your business or life and you're not doing the things you want or love? Then at some point, you're going to be faced with a decision. You'll either choose to keep living in your comfort zone and risk a life of mediocrity or increase your courage, step into your power and forge into the unknown where everything new becomes possible. If you're truly ready to live masterfully, then you need Ken D. Foster's newest book, The Courage to Change Everything, Strategies and Wisdom to Transform Your Life One Day at a Time. This powerful but simple guide provides you with 365 days of life-transforming wisdom, profound questions, and action steps that will increase your strength and open the doors to success. Stop wondering why your business or life isn't working. The answers are available now. Imagine if you had more courage or another chance to start following your dreams. To pick up your copy of The Courage to Change Everything, visit thecouragetochangeeverything.com. That's thecouragetochangeeverything.com. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Kendi Foster. Today, my guest is uh, uh, Johan Engelfritz. And Johan, welcome. It's great to see you. Hello, Ken. Hi. Lovely to be here with you. Thank you. So great to have you. You know, um, let me tell, let me introduce you to my audience a little bit because I think you got such a powerful story. You know, uh, Johan worked successfully as a fashion photographer for almost 20 years in Hamburg and London. Then in 2011, his life changed dramatically when he had a heart attack and six months later was diagnosed with cancer. After unsuccessful radiotherapy, he left to find other survival options, which he did. During a search for a cure, he turned up, he turned to the internet, soon realizing that there was no one at a central point where he could turn to health information, regardless of what health issues there are. So he decided on creating a platform, and six weeks later, he launched the platform that I'm on and so many others are on, millions of people are listening to it, which is UK Health Radio. So he's still fighting his cancer at this time, but listen, he's a survivor and he's making this work for himself and his family. Johan, welcome to the show. Hi, Ken. Let's tell you, you know, what a story you had. I mean, a heart attack and then uh, diagnosed with cancer and and my goodness. Um, and you went down the traditional allopathic uh, way for a while. And, uh, you know, I, I guess the results were not optimal for you. So yeah. let's talk about that. What uh, What's your journey here? Yeah, it's... Um... As you mentioned, 2011, beginning of 2011, um, I had a heart attack on, on the tennis court. And then uh, six months later, I got, I call it my first diagnosis because, um, because of the difference in me between the first and the second time, because there were basically two diagnoses. Um, so, yeah, the, the first one came actually because the doctors were trying and myself actually were trying to work out why um, I wasn't feeling better after the heart attack. So um, that was, that was the first diagnosis. And I have to admit it was really, um, it was tumble dryer for me. 
it felt like I was in one of those big trommel tommel drives with about 300 other people. I didn't know where top or bottom was. Um, I stumbled into the, and I call it stumble because it, I just followed the advice I, I had given um, for no other reason, actually. I stumbled into um, radiotherapy. I did two sets of radiotherapy all in all, all together. And in October of that year, I was given the cancer free, which was amazing. But I, I have to tell you, I had this feeling of, of um, not being part of the process the whole time. That stayed with me. It it didn't didn't go away at all. It just stayed with me. That feeling of you know, I had I had. I had no duties to do while I was going through the radiotherapy. Nobody told me, follow this diet or don't. Nobody said to me, exercise or don't. But the important part was I didn't ask either. Um, and as I said, I had this feeling of, of just not being part of this whole my health process. <clears throat> Um, well, let me let me let yes. me stop let me stop you there for a second because I I think yeah. there's a piece here that I think is very in, in, interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, so were you were you before this? Were you paying attention to your body much? Were you like uh, you know exercising and eating healthy, or were you you know what what was going on with you? And mm -hmm. you know, it seems seems like you know. So I'd like to ask you about that. What what was happening before pre pre heart attack? Yeah, pretty hard to attack. Um, I've always I've always played sport. I love tennis. I've always played tennis. My sister was a professional tennis player, so I basically grew up on a tennis court. She's older, so I was always a tag along. Um, and I'm not very good at it, but I love the sport. I love watching it. I love playing it. Um, but the the photography, the fashion industry, is not the healthiest on the planet. Let's face it. And um, and this, this, it's not only the hours, it's not only the traveling, it's not only um, what all goes on in a shoot, it's, it's also the pressure, the, the stress that, that all fashion photographers that are doing okay are under. You are always under the gun. You are always under time pressure. You know, it's like continuously. I joke, I say, now I get up in the mornings when I used to go to bed. And there's not much, there's about an hour and a half time difference, that's all, between the two, you know? So um, the fashion industry, when you're young, it's wonderful, and unmarried and everything, but when you're not in your 20s anymore, the partying, you have to go to those parties, to the socials, to the functions, because you have to be seen, otherwise, um, Sort of that doesn't keep on either. So it's okay. it's. So there's I wasn't of, watching what I was. Get this then, okay. So what I'm hearing is that you were in pretty good shape physically, right? I mean, you looked you lightly. You weren't like obese or anything like that. You were you were taking you know you were exercising. You're doing tennis. You're doing that. So on the outside, people go, "Wow, this guy's pretty healthy," right? But yeah. you're also feeling this incredible stress. The stress is pushing on you in in uh, continuous ways. Is that accurate? Absolutely, yes. I, I've never been obese. I've always been a, a relatively skinny person. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, from the outside, it might have looked as if everything was okay. But, I, you know, you know I've, I, I never followed a nutritional plan or anything like that. So I, from the inside, was not the way I looked from the outside. So you're kind of, you know, without knowing it, you're kind of a time bomb right, waiting to go off uh, with yeah. all the pressure is what I get. Well, listen, I got to take a Absolutely. quick break. And, and you know, the reason I'm asking this is because um, my friend that I that I lost this year to, to cancer, at the end, I was with her. And she said, I said, Why, what was the cause of this? Why couldn't you heal this? She says, because it was through the, it was the stress. This is a person that was on health, nutrition, and eating vegan and eating uh, properly and do taking care of herself, but the stress got her. And this is an important piece. All right, so well, I'm going to take a quick break and we will be right back.
Are you over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days? I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. Call now for this free book on maximizing your income in retirement. Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers from leading financial firm J.D. Melberg. That's right, free. This book reveals little-known truths about annuities in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now, because we're about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known truths we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity, and it's free. Call 800-615-2282. As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched numerous products and summarized rates and benefits of annuities, all from Silac Insurance Company. Call 800-615-2282. That's 800-615-2282. Call now. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you're testing your blood sugar four more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. Not only can a CGM immediately reduce reduce pain, it's accurate, easy to use, and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. We'll also provide free shipping of your new CGM and we'll bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four more times per day and injecting insulin three or more times per day or using an insulin pump, call now and learn how to receive your new continuous glucose monitor at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Hi, Kendi Foster here. Are you in a place that you would like to unleash the power within your mind? I teach a class, it's called The Limitless Experience. This is about intentional living. It's a great opportunity to learn how to operate your mind efficiently, expand your knowledge, tap into your inner wisdom, and connect with like-minded individuals who are evolving and making a difference in this world. This class is designed to help you unlock your true potential and achieve success in all areas of your life. By attending this class, you will gain valuable insights into your life purpose, legacy, how to get unstuck, how to break chronic patterns that are stopping your success, overcome limiting beliefs, and develop a positive mindset that will help you achieve your goals. I hope to see you soon at The Limitless Experience. I've written a new book. It's called The Courage to Change Everything, Daily Strategies and Wisdom to Unlock Your Genius, Your Soul, and to Transform Your Life. So it's daily strategies. I wrote this specifically because over the years I've noticed in my own life and in the lives of my clients that, listen, a little inspiration doesn't get it. A little wisdom doesn't get it. A little action doesn't get it. It's daily, dripping on the mind, dripping on those actions, taking specific focused actions towards your dreams and setting specific goals, right? Goals help us to transform the little self into the possibilities that we have in each of us. All of us are given dreams. And if you're sitting there and you're not manifesting that dream, it's just a little bit of you is chipping away every day that's not happening until you finally wake up and say, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to connect with something greater than myself, my force, my God, my life, my universe, whatever. I don't care what you call it. You tune into that force and that's what's going to get you to the next level. Well, we'll get right back to my guest in just a second, but I want to give a shout out to some of my networks that really support this show to getting out worldwide. One is the UK Health Network, and which of course I have the founder on the show today. And I just want to acknowledge that we are on UK Health Network, also Triangle Magazine. Uh, we're putting our articles in that on a consistent basis. And also, uh, we have some other networks, E360 uh, Network, BBS Network, and AMFN247. So all of you guys, I want to give a kudos to you. Thank you so much. All right, back to my guest. Johan, okay, buddy. Listen, we okay, we're in the stress place. All right, you get the first diagnosis, you got a heart attack. That probably saved your life, by the way. You know, and uh, 
right? I agree. <laughs> and now you got you got the second diagnosis. The radiotherapy is not working. Um, what do you do? What do you do? Well, I, it, it's it's really it's quite a it's quite a position you in. You get told you've got between six and twelve months to live. Um, they tell you to go home to get your affairs in order. And that's literally what I did. I got on the bus. <laughs> I went home. I made the biggest mistake of my life by not telling my wife, Rafaela, of, uh, I call it my death penalty. <laughs> I told her, of course, the cancer was back, but not of the 12 to 6 months. And I go where everybody tells you not to go, the internet. That's where I started. I, I knew I knew I um, the first option hadn't worked. So I thought to myself, okay, so fine, go and get another option or options. Find them. You can find them somewhere. And well, let, let the me important just thing, you. I just let me pause you there. Let me pause you because this yeah. is really important for my listeners right now. Listen. If you've got some incurable quote disease that you're you know or a chronic illness. Um, it's you have to take charge. You have to let go of your fears, step into courage and take charge like Johan did to start researching and finding your path to healing a hundred percent. That's just my state. I just want to let people know that. Go ahead, Johan. Okay. So you're doing the research. No, I, yeah. I totally agree with you, Ken, because the difference between the first and the second diagnosis were worlds apart. As I said, the first one, it felt I was in a tumble dryer. Yeah. It was just everything. The second one, I'm sitting in, in my oncologist's office. She's telling me six to 12 months, all this. And I can hear my own voice in the back of my head saying, you're not going to die. Well, you are, but not from cancer and not now. Those, literally, I, I could hear it. My, that feeling of not being part of the process had manifested. And... I knew I had to become part of that process because let's face it, nobody is going to fight for your life the way you are. The doctors have hundreds of people like me that they're treating at the same time. They can't be involved with everybody on 100%. It's not possible. That's why what you've just said is so important. You have to become part of that process because if you want to survive, you're the only one that, that will do it 100%. You know, let, let, me, let me inject something else here. You know, my, uh, my wife uh, had a uh, serious illness. It ended up uh, in a hospital for uh, several days last year. And fortunately, mm -hmm. I was up at my sister's home. My sister's been a nurse for 30 years. So I would come back to her home every day. And uh, uh, she would tell me, she would give me a list of maybe 15, 20 questions every day to go back to the doctors with, right? The next day to ask them. See, I think a lot of people are afraid of asking doctors questions. But if yeah. you've got something going on, that's that's what I, I love. I picked up what you said early on. I didn't ask the question. This is an important piece of this, right? Ask and ask until you get the answers you need. Go ahead, Johan. Correct. Okay, so that's what I did in the internet. I asked and asked and asked. Seven months long, to be quite honest. Until one, one evening, it was actually two o'clock in the morning, I read a short sentence that said, cancer cannot survive in an oxygenated alkaline cellular environment. And immediately as I read it, Ken, it was like I was standing in a, in a dark football stadium and somebody switched the lights on. It was unbelievable. I knew that second that I'd found, I'd found my way out. I actually woke my wife at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I said to her, Rafaela, I have found a way not to die. Because I, I just knew it. And it was, it was something I'd, I'd never even heard of or thought of. It was nutrition and lifestyle changes. <clears throat> So what we did is we, we just started literally that morning, later on that morning, we started researching and implementing. And as we, as we learned, we tried it and some of the stuff worked and some didn't, et cetera, et cetera. Until about, and this, the, with this, I was really lucky, I have to admit, about two months into um, this period of this trial period, I had... 
a feeling. I had a surge of energy. It's actually the only way I can describe it. I had a surge of energy, which at that stage was probably not much more than a two foot swell for the normal person. But for me, it was like I, I was surfing a tsunami. It was like the most unbelievable feeling. And I knew even more then that um, I was on the right path. So I became a vegetarian. Um, two months later, I became a vegan. Today, I'm an alkaline vegan. I have been for about, oh, must be almost 10 years now. Well, tell, tell us what, what does an alkaline vegan eat? What is an alkaline vegan? I, I, I haven't heard that terminology. Um, alkaline, I, I, I can explain it really well, actually. So alkaline, um, you know, everybody has a pH value. <clears throat> Um, which is 7.2 is the neutral um, value. And then everything above that is alkaline and everything below that is acidic. Now, cancer, I have to mention this as well. We're not talking about the, um, the blood pH. Your blood pH, you can't change. That is regulated by your body. And each body, each person's pH, blood pH is different. But on a cellular level, um, where the cancer is, you you can um, yeah you can you can manipulate it. You can go either into the neutral zone, into the 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 the, um, the above seven point two, into the the acidic side. Uh, okay. So say say that what you eat. So say that again. We can't. We cannot change our blood pH, but we can change yeah. the uh, the. Uh, what is the it you P, say? The pH level or on a cellular level. On a cellular level. Wow. And yeah. can that be? Yeah. Can that be measured? By the way. You can. You can. It's. Um, I do it. I used to do it daily. I don't do it daily anymore. But it's a. It's a urine test that you that you that you can buy in a in a pharmacy. Wow. Okay. It's of course it's not as accurate as if you would do it at a doctor's and all that, but you do, it's not, it's not. It gives. It's pretty good. Let's face it. The ones I had were were like quite spot on, and I still do it once a week just to check every that everything's okay, etc. That's awesome. So that means okay. basically so, so that. What are you, okay, so you're you're doing the testing, and you know, yeah. so your your ID the the key here is to keep your body alkaline. So you're probably not drinking alcohols or putting coffee in your body, probably not putting sodas in your body, that type of thing. Um, what yeah. what do you put in your body? Um, well, as I said, I'm not a nutrition, but a nutritionist, but um, everything green that you can buy. So whether it's spinach, whether it's broccoli, broccoli, um, artichokes, um, um, zucchinis, or I think you, um, so you, you, you we call them courgettes, you call them yeah. zucchinis. <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't like green stuff. They don't like spinach, yeah. they don't like kale, they don't like broccoli. They don't like how, you know, but that's the stuff that heals us, right? So yeah. how, yeah, any thoughts about helping, helping people overcome their mindset if they have that? Of course, you know, death might be a yeah. big big reason to overcome that. <laughs> with with me, it, it of course, it was, I had no choice. So it was actually quite easy. But I have a saying, as a, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Mm -hmm. And it's so true. And you must look at it at the way, at, at from this angle, you're not, all, everybody always says to me when I, when I speak about this, they say, oh, but I'll have to give up alcohol or meat or chocolate or sugar or you mustn't look at it like that you're not giving anything up you're making space for something new for a you have to put a positive twitch uh, um, turn on it you have to otherwise as i said i had it was easier for me i get it because either die or change so i change but a lot of people actually yeah, die and change yeah, but you know, sometimes yeah, I guess it would be a little easier for you because you you knew this is uh, life or death. Um, you know, yeah. it's uh, I, I have a story around that. You know, for me, I learned this. You know, I, my latest book. I don't know where it is. Here it is. My latest book is called the uh, the courage to change everything. It's uh, daily strategies and essential wisdom to awaken our inner genius. Okay, I'll just stick it up on the screen real quick. 
So that's that's the book there. And, um, you know, courage to change everything. Now, what does that mean? Right. It's like you did. You said, all right, I'm willing to change everything I've learned because I need to heal. I need that. I need to grow. You know, did you throw out every single thing? No, you don't. But you 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 know, you added in what you needed on a daily basis to be able to make that change happen is what I get. And, you know, for me, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was a meat eater for many years. I didn't, I wasn't diagnosed as cancer, but I was 50 pounds over, overweight at the time. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, I decided to just give up red meat. And quite frankly, when I did that, this might've happened to you, Johan, when you gave up, you, your mind goes crazy. Like, what am I going to eat now? I need protein. I need all. So I, I started going to the store and all of a sudden, you know, with commitment, Providence moves, right? The people, places and things we need to show up to help us will be there when we're committed. So I was committed to letting go of red meat. And what happened is I learned about all these new foods I had never seen in my life. I bet you did too. Is that accurate? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I meant by you're not giving up anything. You're making space for something new, for new experiences, yeah. culinary taste experiences. It's amazing. And, of, and health experience because the one goes hand in hand with the other one. You know, it's for me, for me, I, you know, at the time I gave up uh, eating that meat and I started losing the weight. I learned yeah. how to, to run again. I, I at 42, I started to, uh, to learn to, to jog again, right? You know, and it eventually, you know, I'm a triathlete these days still, <laughs> but it led mm-hmm. to a whole bunch of different things, different lifestyle, different, different everything, just by that one choice, that one choice. And you yeah. made that choice too. You made the choice for life and I made the choice for life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Um, cancer eats cancer survives cancer lives from sugar and everything acidic that you put into your body turns to glucose very simply put but that's the bottom line so if you take all that sugar all the glucose out the cancer basically starves to death in my case it wasn't a quick fix it took two and a half years to get rid of everything but i literally had it everywhere so um but that, I mean, that's the bottom line. L- later on, I did, I still optimize my, my diet at the moment. I mean, I've um, about eight months ago changed. To, we only now drink distilled water. I only drink distilled water. And it, a lot of people throw their, their hands up in the air, but it's one of the purest form of water there is. It's, it's amazing. There is a mineral thing attached to distilled water, but that you can supplement so easily that it's not, a, it's not an issue. So it's just, it's an ongoing process. That's also what I'm trying to say is you don't just change one thing and then say, okay, I've done it. Let's stop now. It's a life journey. Yeah. You it's, it's, a, on it's, this. A, uh, it's a lifestyle change and it's a quest is what it is. You know, healing yes. is a quest. And if you, you know, the quest takes you on a journey and it's a, you, we heal mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. That's yeah. the journey. And if you're only healing on uh, that, you're just trying to hear the physical body. Most of the time, that's not going to work for you. You've got to also yeah. change your mindset. You've got to also Absolutely. heal the emotional <laughs> stress. And it, there's a spiritual component to this. It's like yeah. you, you, rest, you, a lot of people reset their purpose in life. They reset their values. They reset their their connection with God. So there's it's in all levels. Yeah, yeah. Did you experience? Well, that, it? Yeah. I I use the quote to to explain that uh, from Mark Twain. He said the two important days in every person's life: the day you're born and the day you find out why. And then literally, it's you know I, I sometimes say what um, my health issues started. But now I don't call them health issues anymore. I call them my, my life's opportunity. Because what I'm doing now is what I was born to do. <clears throat> the photography was wonderful and I enjoyed it. But this just has so much more value, has added so much more value to my life. And I'm hoping to many, many, many hundreds of thousands and millions of people's 
lives out there as well. So this is what it's all about. And it is an extension. It, it's not just, it didn't stay only with the nutrition by me. You know, it's been scientifically proved now that stress acidifies your body. One, one espresso acidifies your body by 300%. I'm not talking about the sodas, the the chocolates and that kind of stuff, you know? So it's just, it's, it's something you have to get into. Um, if you go onto any, in, onto the internet and you type in um, alkaline food chart, you'll get about a thousand, literally. There are so many out there. Find one that's easy to read because some of them you need a degree in computer science to work out. <laughs> but just, it's, that is the way to go. It's the only way to go. I tried, you know, part of that sentence is cancer cannot survive in an oxygenated, so sport, cellular environment. Very important. Um, the physical part of it is very important, but you mentioned also the the mental part of it, your your attitude towards it. You've well, got listen, to start I, saying, before we get into the mental part, I've got to yeah. I've got to take a quick break. So let's let's do that, and we come back. Let's let's dive into some of the the um, <clears throat> the beliefs, the the changes that have to take place mentally to be it become unstoppable in your journey to heal your body. We'll be right back. Do you listen to the TV on high volume? or have trouble hearing conversations, then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $299 a pair. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $299. Plus, we'll add in a portable charging dock and ship your order absolutely free. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in the ear canal design. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45 day risk free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime US based support for only $299. So call now. 800 789 7885. Again, that's 800 789 7885. Imagine this is your money and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. Guess what? They want your money and they can take it, all of it if they want. Remember, they sent you that letter right over here that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash and we're going to take it from you right now. So what do you do? You fight back by letting our team of experts work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And hey, we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws, and we'll fight really hard to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you want to keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. Five minutes of your time right now can save you thousands of dollars. And the best part, it's a free call. So please call right now. Are you ready to uplift your thinking, redefine what's possible, and have the energy, passion, and power to accomplish your greatest dreams? Hi, this is Ken D. Foster. For 28 years, I've coached over 10,000 people to see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and do the impossible. Now, I've put the time-tested wisdom principles into my latest book, The Courage to Change Everything, Daily Strategies and Essential Wisdom to Awaken Your Inner Genius. This book changes your thinking as you read it. It's time to change it deep inside. You know this. So come on, expand what's possible, increase your courage, step into your destiny, and order today at CourageToChange.us. That's CourageToChange.us. When you order today, you'll receive a personalized coaching session with me. Obviously, this is a limited offer. So why wait? Change for the better and order now at CourageToChange.us. Are you feeling stuck or in a holding pattern with your business or life and you're not doing the things you want or love? 
Then at some point, you're going to be faced with a decision. You'll either choose to keep living in your comfort zone and risk a life of mediocrity, or increase your courage, step into your power, and forge into the unknown, where everything new becomes possible. If you're truly ready to live masterfully, then you need Ken D. Foster's newest book, The Courage to Change Everything, Strategies and Wisdom to Transform Your Life One Day at a Time. This powerful but simple guide provides you with 365 days of life-transforming wisdom, profound questions, and action steps that will increase Increase your strength and open the doors to success. Stop wondering why your business or life isn't working. The answers are available now. Imagine if you had more courage or another chance to start following your dreams. To pick up your copy of The Courage to Change Everything, visit thecouragetochangeeverything.com. That's thecouragetochangeeverything.com. Welcome back to our show today. We're calling this The Courage to Heal Cancer. And I'm speaking with my friend, Johan Engelfritz, and he is uh, telling his story, but he's also given us some wisdom, some understanding, some courage to move past this in your life. So I'm inspired. I know that. By the way, I meant to tell you, you did inspire me to go out and get some distilled water and, uh, I, you know, I drank it and I was, you know, I, it was surprising to me. It was like so smooth. I was like, wow, this, this is much smoother than the hard water I've been drinking. And we filter our water. We've got tons of filters and all that stuff, right? So, uh, cause we're in San Diego. So we're at the end of the line of the Colorado river down here. So we want to make sure everything's filtered out, but, uh, <laughs> the filters are even nicer. And I always use minerals anyway. So the supplement, yeah. so it works out really well. All right. The mental state of this, right? Yeah. Listen, you know, when people have that diagnosis and I know when you got it, you might've felt some people go to depression. They, they de default to depression. Some people depress, they default to anger. Some people just get numb. Um, but those are states that will keep you stuck. So how did you, you probably went into that for a while, one of those, and then you lifted yourself up. What was the mindset that you held or still hold that changes the uh, uh, that changes everything for you? And for yeah, yeah, you literally do go through everything. I did as well, but I always had that that in the back of that voice, my voice in the back of my head, saying to my, "You are not going to die from this." It it's it's in uh, a lot of people say that when you're given a time like six to 12 months it's the wrong way of doing it but in my and i'm sure for some people it is but in my case it really was a bit of a kick in the bum i realized that that if you want to survive this and i i wanted to more than anything in the world i wanted to see my two boys grow up i wanted to spend the rest of my life with my beautiful wife that kind of stuff you know so um it really animated me. It really got me moving. And But the actual change came once I got into that process of searching, of learning, of um, the physical fast, the physical, the fasting, the, um, the, the nutrition and all that stuff. And then came the more spiritual side of things. Um, I mean, today... Uh, it's, it's, it's actually unbelievable. To, if you had said to me 20 years ago, you meditate, I would have killed myself, fallen over laughing. I meditate on a daily basis now. Um, the way I approach things have totally changed. As I said, um, stress, we all have stress. And there's very, very little chance of getting out of it. But you have to analyze it. You have to, you know, there's a saying, if you think about things, there's a difference between thinking about something and thinking into something. If you think into something, you get answers. Evaluated results. That is, that is wisdom. It's something that has been evaluated, whether it's for yourself or by somebody else, it doesn't matter, but that is wisdom. It's an evaluated response. Or, so um, you've, got to, you've got to look at your life and you've got to think into it. I meditate now every day. I run. It's, part of, it's an extension of my meditation. It's not, I don't run with music. I don't run with other people. It's my time. I run only by myself. Um, 
affirmations play a huge big part in it. Um, I tried yoga. Um, <laughs> my wife says I look like a fallen over dead tree when I do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> and to be very honest with you, it feels like that to me. It doesn't work. So if, and if it doesn't work for you, skip it. Find something right. else. We're not all the same. We don't respond this in the same way to the same things. You know? So find that thing. Search it. It's, it's a job. You, it's part of your life now. You have no choice. You've got to keep on keeping on. Yeah. Well, you know what I, it's, you know, uh, this, this advice, this advice that we're talking about here is not, of course, just for cancers. This advice is sage advice for whatever chronic illness you have, whatever you've been, quote, diagnosed with, right? Remember, the diagnosis is, you know, somebody came up with that label right, to try to understand what this is, or at least to label it so that we could understand it. But just like cancer, right, it has many symptoms and many different people and shows up whole different, a lot, a lot of ways. Now, my teachers have always told me that there's only, there's only one disease on the planet. And that is, uh, that is acidity, right? It's, it's, an, it's the acidity that he's been talking about, right? So we yeah. have an acidic body, Right. And so that creates all these other diseases, whether it shows up in your stomach or your liver or your foot or your your brain, wherever it is, there's an acidic nature to this. And where's the acidity? Yeah. Well, it can be mentally, emotionally, physically or spiritually or all all of them combined it can be all of that. Absolutely. But there's yeah. there's a part where you start. And I love what Johan's saying here. There's a part where we start to uh, and I love the way you put it instead of thinking about it, thinking through it. And so how do we think through it? Well, you know, one of the books I wrote years ago was a book. Uh, I wrote the book on questions and it's called asking you will succeed. And it's a thousand and one questions and 35 different categories of life. Why is life? Why is that important? Because most people have about the same 60,000 thoughts they do every day is what they say. Well, five to 60,000, whatever it is, but there's a number out there that you have the same thoughts. Why is that? Because you, basically are running on a program that you program yourself. And the way we break out of those programs through meditation, I love that, Johan, I'm a long-term meditator. And we also break through it with asking questions that empower us. Like Johan's question might've been something like, or I'm just making this up. What's the quantum breakthrough that I need to have to heal my body, right? Or what are the three steps I can take to find the source of this cause of the cause of this cancer in my body. I want to know it. I want to know who I am. Things like that. Is that is that accurate for you? Absolutely. I think one of my one of one of still is today one of my driving forces is um, cause and effect, which is a natural law. This is not somebody sucked this out of their thumb kind of thing. If you change the cause, you will change the effect. Natural law. There's no getting around it, no way. And these vessels that we've been given, these bodies of ours, are really, can really heal almost anything if you give it the right things to work with. And the other thing I wanted to mention, Ken, which is really important, is our internal language. You know, right from the beginning, after the second diagnosis, not the first, the second one, I never ever referred to it again as my cancer. If you listen to people that have had cancer or have cancer, they all refer to it as my cancer. Why do you want it? Why do you want to own it? I even write cancer sometimes with a K just to show my disrespect to it. It's a, it's a, it's a, a complete attitude that you have to have against it. Whatever it is, in my case, cancer, but it, it can be anything. It's... Um, Seriously, it's, it's just that internal language is so, so, so important. That that you speak to yourself about 60,000 times a day has to correct. Yeah. All right, listen, I'm going to take another quick break. When we come back, I want you talk about affirmations. Uh, if you have some affirmations you could give our audience, that would be awesome. I will also give a couple of them that uh, will help you with the mindset of courage, the mindset to overcome and become unstoppable around these diagnoses that 
really, they're not. I love what you said, Johan. These, this isn't you. You're not a cancer. You, you may no. have had a symptom that is they call cancer, but that's not who you are. And when you find out, I love what you said, the Mark Twain quote, you know, the day you're two most important days, the day you're born, the day you find out who you are. That is powerful, right? Let's find out who we are today and really heal anything in our bodies. We'll be right back. Uh, we'll talk about affirmation. Are you over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days? I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. Call now for this free book on maximizing your income in retirement. Annuity do's and don'ts for baby boomers from leading financial firm J.D. Melberg. That's right, free. This book reveals little known truths about annuities in simple to understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we're about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known truths we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity, and it's free. Call 800-615-2282. As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched numerous products and summarized rates and benefits of annuities, all from Silac Insurance Company. Call 800-615-2282. That's 800-615-2282. Call now. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you're testing your blood sugar four more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. Not only can a CGM immediately reduce pain, it's accurate, easy to use, and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. We'll also provide free shipping of your new CGM, and we'll bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four more times per day and injecting insulin three or more times per day or using an insulin pump, call now and learn how to receive your new continuous glucose monitor at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Hi, Ken D. Foster here. Are you in a place that you would like to unleash the power within your mind? I teach a class. It's called the Limitless Experience. This is about intentional living. It's a great opportunity to learn how to operate your mind efficiently, expand your knowledge, tap into your inner wisdom, and connect with like-minded individuals who are evolving and making a difference in this world. This class is designed to help you unlock your true potential and achieve success in all areas of your life. By attending this class, you will gain valuable insights into your life purpose, legacy, how to get unstuck, how to break chronic patterns that are stopping your success, overcome limiting beliefs, and develop a positive mindset that will help you achieve your goals. I hope to see you soon at the Limitless Experience. I've written a new book. It's called The Courage to Change Everything, Daily Strategies and Wisdom to Unlock Your Genius, Your Soul, and to Transform Your Life. So it's daily strategies. I wrote this specifically because over the years I've noticed in my own life and in the lives of my clients that, listen, a little inspiration doesn't get it. A little wisdom doesn't get it. A little action doesn't get it. It's daily, dripping on the mind, dripping on those actions, taking specific focused actions towards your dreams and setting specific goals, right? Goals help us to transform the little self into the possibilities that we have in each of us. All of us are given dreams, and if you're sitting there and you're not manifesting that dream, it's just a little bit of you is chipping away every day that's not happening until you finally wake up and say, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to connect with something greater than myself, my force, my God, my life, my universe, whatever. I don't care what you call it. You tune into that force, and that's what's going to get you to the next level. Welcome back, everybody. This is Kendi Foster. I'm talking with Johan Engelfritz, and we're talking about uh, how to heal yourself, how to heal your body, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, how to step up and be vibrant again, right? And I love what you said, you know, it, you, there's, 
when you get conscious about this, when we become more aware, we expand our consciousness around this and allow ourselves to get out of our old thinking or maybe the thinking that somebody else has told you this is incurable, this, you'll always have it, uh, this is this disease, you need to be on these drugs for the rest of your life. You know, when you say, wait a second, that's their opinion. You listen to that inner voice that Johan listened to. Okay, you listen to the voices of truth, of courage, of, of wisdom, instead of the voices of, of fear, of greed, of, you know, of, of, uh, of uh, disempowerment in your own life. When you stop listening to those voices, things change. Johan, affirmation, man. Let's talk about that because you, you went into that. It's powerful. And uh, let's talk about some affirmations that would maybe help our audience. Okay, I, I have one here. It's part of a bit longer one, but it's just it's just a part of it that really strikes home. I went from believing that cancer was the cause of my illness to realizing it was merely a symptom of an already sick body. You look at it like that, everything changes. I just wanted to mention this really quickly. Only 5 to 10% of all cancer-related illnesses on the planet today is genetically inherited. That means 90 to 95% of it is because of our lifestyle. Just quick. That's just, um, I just wanted to mention yeah, that. It by just, the way, it by the way let, me, let me plus that. Because even if they are inherited, quote unquote, right? And you can, now, now you know your genetics. Now you can do preventative around Absolutely. that particular yeah. diagnosis and that's more that's coming in the world with ancestry and and uh, some of the other uh uh you know dna testing uh, apps and at labs and stuff so this is really important to know thank you for mentioning that listen we only got a minute to go give me an affirmation okay. affirmation i live in a kind friendly and safe universe filled only with an abundance of excellent health unbelievable wealth happiness and love and everything that happens, happens for me. I think that's one of the say most that, powerful that, yeah. ones say I have. One more, say it one more time. We'll close the show with that. Go for it. Okay. I, I, I live in a kind, friendly, and safe universe, filled only with an abundance of excellent health, unbelievable wealth, happiness, and love, where everything that happens, happens for me. I love it. Johan, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. UK Health Radio is his company. Go to ukhealthradio.com. Check it out. My show's on there. Hundreds of uh, thousands, millions of listeners are listening to it. You should listen to it, too. So we hope that uh, you remain healthy and blessed like you've blessed us today. Thank you so much, Johan. Thank you, Ken. And for all of you, I want to thank you for tuning in to the Voices of Courage show today. This has been an amazing show. Hope you'll tell your family, your friends, anybody that's going through or suffering with disease of any kind, have them listen to this. Have them get inspired. Have them take their life to the next level. And until next time, continue to search for and seek to be able to see the unseeable and know the unknowable and do the impossible. Take care. Mm -hmm.